All right, all right, people. Who has seen one of these? Man, Google man, I need your help. <laughs> man, I was trying to use Google to figure this out, man. I was like, oh. Well, I think I finally kind of figured it out, I believe. We have a 1979 VAM, VAM American. And the VAM stands for Vehículos Automotores Mexicanos. This thing was built in Mexico. I guess it was based off the Concorde. So, let's check this out, man. And, ooh, it's a two-door. I mean, but she's from that Malays era, so, you know, we got the aluminum bumpers. So I was like, man, this is some kind of like, you know, it said American, and I was like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't get it. And look, here's the, Here's the VIN that I was trying to get, was trying, and I just, it wasn't, it was coming back as a wagon. And then of course they had it as this, an AMC Eagle. Of course the aluminum bumper in the back as well. I would say this classified as classifies as unique, you know, rare. I don't know. I mean, how rare this is, out the box. I'd say. Check out the, the stripes on it. It had like the blacked out roof there, you know. The uh, the trim here, the, where the with the drip the drip rails are blacked out. Or were. <laughs> says here on the uh, it's got like look check out like little rally wheels on it does it's only two of them though you know sucks it's pretty neat though and then you see where it says VAM it also says VAM on the on the the glass here I don't know you can I don't know if you can really see that yeah and it just says right there hecho in Mexico same in the back I think that was unique to the Mexican uh, models I think uh, that fixed quarter glass I think this looks better if I think the Concords had the uh, like that opera window, opera glass in the back or something, and like a half vinyl roof or something. Ugh. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, yeah, it sucks. There's only two of them. But, uh, I guess last on the road, 2003 or something like that. Let me take put that down there. All right. So, of course. It is a one wheel peel. It's a, I was, I was like, I had a key in the ignition, but I was like, oh, no key for the trunk. And then, voila, Grinamex. Seguridad hecho en Mexico. Oh. Okay. Anyways, but this was sitting on the, uh, on the, on the floor, right? And this said GM. And then I thought for a second, oh, that's the Google man saying what AMC, what does the AMC kind of stand for? All makes combined. <laughs> so, another thing that, that I was reading on there about these, um, the Mexican, the ones that were built in Mexico, they, they, they used a 4.6 instead of a 4.2, but that's just 4.2. So, you know. yes, United States Navy. I have, I am not sure what this is. I didn't even look it up. You can put a pen right there. It's like for a, you know, put on your desk. Looks pretty old. I could use that, that's brand, that's, well not brand new, but you know, pretty full. Got your spark o -matic. That is, oh, it's like a pulley. And then, of course, your AMC, AM and FM. Manufactured by Motorola. Huh. 
Oh, well, actually, we have three then with this one. So, clothes is nice though. I give it that. So, the interior. You know, she's got buckets. Here's another thing I was I was looking at. I was like, you know what? That just that steering column looks like a GM steering column to me. <laughs> I was like, man, it's a tilt too. It really does. It looks like a G, but I can't tell for what. But definitely looks like a GM steering column. And here's the VIN that he that was they were using for. Uh, he also had a Merker. Ooh, the X. R4T1. I think I've only found one of those in the junkyard. And a 57.4 too. Look at that. Dang. Yeah. Look at that. Of course, he has little Chilton's there. And aftermarket. We call it the uh, <laughs> steering wheel. Think loosey goosey. Had a, no. I tried to pull the the back seat out, but there's no dice on that. I couldn't get it out. There's the other uh, the passenger side uh, side mirror. And uh, headliner <laughs> survived. First time for everything, man. Like I said, I don't know how, how you know, these cars, as far as how many of them there, there were made, or was the production numbers on them, or what. The hood did get kinked. Give me a second. Sorry, I needed two hands to prop this deal up. You know, I had to take the springs off. But, um, yeah, here it is. VAM on there. So like I said, it, see the air cleaner in the back says a 4.2 liter, but I think I read that they had a 4.6 liter, uh, the ones made in Mexico. Here's for uh, Google man. Yeah, and here it is in Spanish too. I can see that right there. This is pretty neat. <laughs> I know. So they he just added that, like a little, little horn, little, you know, like a alarm or something. I got one of these, but uh, it's not made out of a, like this one. I might take that. This looks pretty cool. So we got we got um, manual brakes, but they are discs. We have power steering, and obviously that's that looks like a, that's a GM. Like I said, man, that steering column is, that looks GM to me. That looks straight up GM. Even the the steering box. Of course, that's Ford. Well, that's what mainly what the Fords use the uh, the Yorks, um, and of course the the, the Tecumseh. But. When people use them in aftermarket, one aftermarket kits, they would, you know, they would. This would be the one that they would, people would have in it um, as a compressor most of the time. Or I guess you could have an A6 back then. But uh, yeah, I'll take a quick look underneath. Where's your AC car? There's your uh, your disc brakes. So what do y'all think, man? That's just, I think it's pretty neat, man. You know, just for the uniqueness of it being a, <laughs> a car made in Mexico. You know. American Motors, I, I thought it was gonna be building Kenosha. So. Well, there it is, man. 
a Vam American. <laughs> I'm just going to put this under my AMC um, uh, playlist. Yeah. I doubt I'll find another one of these anytime soon in the yard. <laughs>